Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News with Founders All Day IPA. This is a Session Ale, comes in at 4.7% alcohol by volume. To me it's a little misleading the, uh, to a certain extent, but uh, the in America as far as I know the IPAs are classified at 6% and above for pale ales and then uh, APAs and whatever, just regular pale ales are below 6 So this is a Session IPA at 4.7 so but it's, let's just say it's an accessionable APA. Uh, this was bottled on 6-18-13, so super fresh, of course. And I just picked up a six pack of this, just got home. So, pretty cool. Of course, the infamous founder's cap. Everyone knows that by now. Founder's glass. It starts with an F. Okay, we have a light, I guess we'll just call it a dark golden color, a little haze going on, and a big white head, big bubbles, not really very tight, kind of soapy looking. Okay, there's a load of pine resin hops here, definitely got some earth tones. Definitely has a, almost a weedy kind of a smell, um, and I'm thinking there's a little bit of grapefruit in there too. Oop. Very, very earthy nettles, stringency, that kind of thing. It almost reminds me, you know, it almost reminds me of some kind of like the herbs and the plants that grow along the side of the road. And maybe that's that's kind of where they got the idea from, like driving through, you know, just you know, family trips and stuff. Get that kind of aroma of the pine and the woods and the and the flowers and the and the um and the, the, the nettles and the leaves, stuff like that, the weeds. That's where I'm kind of pulling off this. Pretty good. All right, let's give it a go. Cheers. It does have a very nice hot presence. It's got a mild bitterness, but you can I can already tell that this hot presence is gonna linger for a while. It's definitely dry, has really dry finish, and it's actually dry the whole way through. It's not really a sweet ale at all. Um, it almost tastes to me like one of the things they did to, to make sure it was sessionable was bump down all the residual sugars that would do that normally they would normally put into I don't know, different things or didn't whatever, but it really has no malt base at all. <laughs> it's, it's really weird. It's very watery. It's got an okay mouthfeel, but just the flavor is kind of watered down. It tastes like a watered down IPA, except it does have a very good hop present. Again, really earthy, dirty hops, pines, resinous hops. They're going to work in your mouth. They're not extreme, but they're there. But everything else is just so. so I don't know. It's just everything else is just like that. Boring. Like for instance, if this had like barely any hop, it would taste like water. Uh, you know, ugh. I mean, it's it's the hops that are making this. Um, I think people have been a little bit too nice when they've reviewed this so far. I don't think I've only seen one or two people review it, but they really was like, oh, wow, what an epic! Really? This? You put a bunch of hops. So basically what they're saying is, if you put a lot of hops in anything, it will be good. I don't really consider that true. But, anyway. Yeah, I'd rather drink something else, honestly. 
If I was gonna session something, fuck it. I just get a pale ale, proper pale ale, proper malted pale ale with a nice hop back to it, not this. Yeah, I'm gonna give this one a six. Six out of ten. Founders all day IPA. Don't follow hype. Don't follow bullshit. Drink it, believe it. Honest reviews, that's the shit. Alright? Don't suck up because it's a big brewery. Say what you mean. Alright, this has been Paul from Beer Brew News. Cheers.